So we're in the Heart Kingdom, huh? What's so special about the Heart Kingdom, anyway? Well, Jack, it's shielded by someone's own monozone. Wait, what? Monozone is large as a country that hides the Heart Kingdom. Didn't you yeah. read the chapter, Jack? Yes, Benson, of course you read the damn chapter. Hey, thanks for giving me on the check, on me. Hey, two-tone up in this thing. Killer flows. Sleep, Shout out to the other What happened? What happened next? Jack, you're supposed to read the chapter before we go live. I did, Benson. I did. I just... Echo, I see you. Look. Look, Benson, I just... Faster than the ostrich, flyer than the pelican. Earth, wind, fire, man, that always been my element. So don't test me, they can lead you to your doom. Mr. Beach it 20 times and leave your batter and bruise. Yo, what's up, guys? It is Jack Oates the Goat. You either know or you don't. I know it's, it's been like a month since I made a video. Guys, I've just been really busy, but I actually opened up some time and I actually. I have a new little studio set up, so I've been, able, I've been able to consolidate some things, and things are looking good. So I'm um, hoping to get you guys regular videos. I'm so, so sorry for those that are subscribed, um, but stick around, because I will be doing videos uh, pretty much weekly. I, I, I promise. I promise. Um, no, I don't promise. But, so anyway, I don't even want to go for the whole, you know, like, subscribe, whatever, whatever. This is for you guys. Look. I am going to be honest, I had just read the last maybe three chapters of Black Clover. I haven't read them as they've been coming out. Uh, that's for several reasons. One, my time. I've been so busy, I've been coming home and just straight up crashing at like 7 o'clock um, for like the next 12 hours and getting back into the grind and whatnot. So it's, it's been a pretty hectic last month. And, uh, and I'm coming out of that busy stage. I'm finally adjusting properly. So, um, But yeah, it was that. And then there was also the fact that uh, I wasn't really captured by, you know, the setup and whatnot. As you know, we've come out of that demon arc, which was super fire. And then it's just been setting us up for the next story. So I knew I wouldn't be missing too much. And even though I missed about three or four chapters here, this video shouldn't be too long because things just started picking up. Maybe uh, not this chapter that just came out, the last chapter that came out, things really, really picked up. Now, I just want to get straight into it. The Heart Kingdom is looking crazy already. Uh, as we found out with Gordon's family, his father, or whoever that guy is, because I think they're actually unrelated, but somehow a family. I forgot how they described it, but it's really weird. Gordon's family, family, but love the Adams family vibe. Super dope. Um, but it showed in his magic that uh, through candles that there are places on the land that are eating away at it. And uh, depending on the brightness of the candle, is how much force this thing has. So uh, there's the one big force, which I was right about, by the way, in I think the last video I made, that Henry might be cursed. And it turns out that he is, and he has a very strong force around him. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting to get into his backstory on why he ended up like that. I, I was very sure he was cursed. There's no way that you just have like this freaking crazy deficiency. So uh, that's gonna be super cool. Uh, the whole thing on Majicula, awesome. I really don't have any clue, uh, and that's for good reason. Tabata didn't write it that way. Uh, so we can only find out as the chapters keep coming, of course. But man, this whole Heart Kingdom ordeal is gotten, just, it went left, like, immediately. So our, our people, Noel, Mimosa, which was really cool, um, uh, that she had, like, an internship or whatever, like, a, you know, she, she studied abroad. Uh, and went to the Heart Kingdom, and uh, when she was 13, to learn some stuff, and that's pretty cool. Uh, and I, I like how they were able to gain access to that, so it's not all the Black Bulls going, uh, which is, you know, it, it's kind of disheartening, but I kind of like it too, because uh, then that way we can see some level up just from actually people who really need it, like Asta, Noel, Finral, and Mimosa. They all need leveling up to become uh, more vital characters as far as battle goes. So I'm glad they're there and it's not Yami and, and crew uh, and people like Ghosh who like really don't need the level up. They're, they're pretty dope already. So uh, so we enter the, the kingdom. They're on the boat, right? And we find out that the reason the Heart Kingdom is hidden from the rest of the country is because it's surrounded by the Queen's monozone. Now up until this point, the largest monozone that we'd seen was Yami's when he dealt the finishing blow 
to the demon. And his was, I mean, it was massive. Uh, it absolutely dwarfed himself and Sharla and the everyone. It was completely enormous. But then this Queens is as large as the country's, and she's it's it's not only as large as the country, but she's able to hide the country itself. So that that's just like levels. It's not just monotone. It's just like magic on top of magic. And and, and okay, as if that wasn't crazy enough. Then we find out that our boy Gaja is a tier zero. Uh, what is he? I guess they're called the Magic Knights there. Um, no, they're, they're called something else. I'm forgetting the name. You guys don't know what I mean. But uh, Finneral makes it a point to say, how is he floating without using any mana? And I think I have the reason for that. And I think it's pretty obvious, actually. So the whole kingdom is densely made up of mana throughout the nature of the land, right? And this is due to the queen. I think this is... There are two ways to kind of describe what's going on here. How he's not expending mana. One, if you're a Naruto fan, Senjutsu, right? Um, in Senjutsu, if you're familiar with Naruto, he's not expending his own chakra. What he's doing is using the the energy of nature itself. And then once he's out of that mode, then he starts using his own chakra, right? Uh, that's one way to put it. Then the other way is for my super old school fans, people that are actually in anime and manga, um, Eureka 7, where they're hoverboards, if you will. I've, it's been a minute since I've read uh, Eureka 7, so I, I know I might not be getting exactly right, but, uh, but bear with me. They have these hoverboards that uh, they, they can essentially fly as high as they want uh, within the atmosphere because they're riding the, uh, let, let's call it the waves of the world itself. It's energy waves. And uh, that's what it seems like he's doing. He's not using his own mana. He's using the mana that surrounds the Heart Kingdom, that, that's a part of the Heart Kingdom. Uh, so... I think if that is the case, it's going to be very hard to scale Godger right now, or anyone in the Heart Kingdom for that matter, because they'll have home field advantage. Now, whether they can do that outside of the Heart Kingdom is a different story. Uh, and that's something maybe, I don't know. Uh, it's, it'll be interesting to see if that's how it goes. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he's able to use mana from the land outside of the Heart Kingdom, but it might not be as strong as uh, as he's using right now, uh, which is tier zero magic, which is crazy. Um, now let's talk about this runic stuff. That's awesome. That is super awesome uh, to use a different type of magic. Um, I like that they're really building on, you know, just people's magic types and abilities, and it looks just so dope. Um, and it's good to see, you know, this kind of the scaling of where the Valkyrie dress for Noel kind of lies, because he hit her with that, you know, super fast lightning attack. She dodged it, and then when she found out she couldn't, you know, escape it, totally blocked it, and as water should be a conduit for lightning, she didn't take any effect, which is really awesome. Uh, so then we're getting this Kirin-like feel, again, for my Naruto fans, uh, you know, when Sasuke pulls that, that straight-up thunder out of the sky in the form of a dragon, um, that's what our boy Gage is doing, and, uh, it looks like they might be in some trouble, but, uh, they're, they're really showing out, they're really showing us levels to, yes, Gage is strong, but the way we apply our magic and use our, our teamwork, the power of friendship, ooh, whatever, uh, some people don't like it, I don't mind it, teamwork's a thing, um, but the way they're applying their magic makes them a really tough match. So uh, it's really interesting to see how this goes, and it's going to play a part in the story in the long run of, you know, how they're going to level up, how they can level up individually, and then tack that on to the teamwork aspect to make them exponentially stronger. Uh, so, I mean, this all is going really well. Uh, now, the next thing is, I, I've been seeing some questions on, on Facebook, on, uh, on Twitter, about, okay, so Asuna can cancel out magic. 
but why is he still drowning in this water? Like, why isn't he just canceling it out? Well, that's simple. It's because the water's not magic. It's being manipulated by magic, but the water itself is not magic. It is just nature. And Asta cannot cancel out nature, right? Um, so that's why he's in the situation that he's in, and he's playing a really smart move uh, by the end of this last chapter uh, by going for where presumably the queen is in that layer of, uh, of air. And that's really going to expose her, and uh, it'll, it should free him up from this situation a little bit. Uh, but the real question is, why does the queen want Asta's power? And, and, and she wants it, but what is she going to use it for? Does she just want to get rid of it? It doesn't really seem like she does. It seems like she wants to harness the power for herself. And that's where things are getting a little weird because I, I don't know what to, I, don't, I don't know what to do with that. I just I don't know. It's a, it's a mystery to me. It's a mystery to me, guys. Uh, going on, unless there are special circumstances. But she also brings up Osier Silva. This is where I'm getting some really weird vibes uh, right now for the Clover Kingdom. Is that it, she made it seem that it's a possibility that the Clover Kingdom is the reason for the manifestation of demons and curses that we see in the world right now. Um, and it seems like it did stem a bit with Osier Silva, or at least uh, multiplied because of Asier Silva um, and whatever contract that was, which we should be figuring out with uh, Gordon's family uh, since they do control the contracts uh, and they keep up to date with them and whatnot. I think things are going to start looking pretty bad for the Clover Kingdom. I just think it's odd how every kingdom is known for something and then the Clover Kingdom is not really known for anything in particular. Uh, and who knows that maybe we just have like a village that's not known for anything special. You know, the heart kingdom has like special magic. It's hidden. The spade kingdom, which I hope we see soon, uh, is known for feeding an ancient evil. Uh, and, and the diamond kingdom for its military and its science experiments. I mean, the clover kingdom has nothing and that's a little worrisome. And I think it's because, they're they're doing some pretty shady stuff but i don't know that's just me and you know the vibes i'm getting and how i'm putting puzzle pieces together maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm right i'm usually right but um yeah i mean there's not too much to talk about like i said it, they're still setting up for the story and we're just looking at a really awesome fight uh to see where our, our people are at right now and then see where they need to be as far as battle prowess and strength you know um I, i'm kind of seeing that they'll come back to the Clover Kingdom at least Vice Captain level. If they're anything below that, I'll be heavily disappointed. But, I mean, that's really all I got for you guys. I'm so glad to be back. Uh, like I said, I, I should be able to come out with things, you know, at least weekly. Uh, but I will be talking about other stuff because some really cool shows are out that I, I just, I, I would want to talk about, like Supernatural and The Walking Dead are freaking crazy right now. Um, and I've got to talk about Supernatural. It's the last season, so, uh, I mean, guys, 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 Supernatural is life right now. So, um, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, if, you know, if you want to keep up, please make sure you go follow me on Twitter. Um, I, I really like in the Twitter world, I actually only added Twitter to, uh, to keep up with Broken No Hero, and, uh, I mean, met some pretty cool people on there, and, always having some funny and cool conversations. So um, feel free to reach out to me there. Um, I don't have any followers, so you can see a message, a comment, or whatever, and I'll interact with you. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's Jack Goats to go. You either know it or you don't. I'm glad to be back, you guys. Tune into my next one, because we're about to get into something. Ah, it's getting crazy. Get your boys out. <laughs>
faster than the ostrich, flyer than the pelican. Earth, wind, fire, man, that always been my element. So don't test me, they can lead you to your doom. Mr. Beat you 20 times and leave your battering bruised.